Basically in Liverpool, they got this two week festival going on for Eurovision. Um, I can't be arsed. They all went to it last night, um, but I don't like all that. Ah, you know? This is the top 30 of Eurovision in the last so many years. Give us your best ghost. Yeah, you're right there, lads. <laughs> Made up for you. You want to have some chicken and chips? That side over there, that's where the hairdressers is. What, the hairdressers? In the minute, the Penny Lane Barber Shop? Yeah, in a minute. Hold on. Just over there, it says Tony's. Yeah, see there? Barbers? Yeah, Tony's. That's the barber shop. So, Tony's Barber Shop, the, uh, that was the Penny Lane, there is a barber shop. And here's Penny, this is Penny Lane. There's, oh, this is Penny Lane. This is Penny Lane, there's the name. Oh, Penny Lane. Elton John. John Lennon. John Lennon. Elton John. Well, yeah, oh, she's got. Whoa, she's doing all right. <laughs> We're at number 23 with a UK entry for Eurovision in 1975. It's Hello. You're looking radiant. Do you know you get younger every year? Thank you, so yeah. Michael, and you look like Michael. <laughs> this is a good song. Oh, turn that up, baby. This was the shadows. This was the backing group for Keith Richards. Cliff Richards. Oh, Cliff Richards. I'm gonna find Nadia husband online. You know, do you wanna know something? All the girls I show on my YouTube, um, the guys, there's guys that get obsessed with them. It's like, oh, do you have the social media details? Well, I have a, a feed, um, social media feed yep. pics. Oh, you have a few pics? I know, my feet. Oh, your feet? Yeah. Your feet pics? Yeah, I'll give you the profile. Uh, social media. Yeah, but you, you do a bit more pics than just that, don't you? More pics than just feet, but you have to discover it. You have to subscribe and that's it. Okay, so you got feet pics on your Facebook. What do you got on your grinder? You have to send me a message on grinder to see. Have to see. Here they go, folks. <laughs> well, I don't know what grinder is. I only heard about it from a friend. I know you're using grinder. Come on. <laughs> No, well, your, I, find uh, the, I find the conversation so in, in engaging on there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll use it sometimes. Well, only for a free place to live when I'm traveling across the country to save Ukraine. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to keep the expenses down. Yeah, and gay good reason. And gay people always have nice things and nice houses. Sure. Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. Not home. Yeah. Not home. Tonight's the Eurovision final. Yeah. Throughout uh, the world, on TV and live and wherever else. I don't know. 50 million. Keep going. 100 million. Keep going. Wow. Quarter, mil uh, quarter billion. They reckon about a hundred, between 150, 150 and 200 million people. This is Radio wow. 2. Be watching this tonight. Yeah. On your smart totally. It was a bunch of nerds. Oh, a right. bunch of, of uh, scientists who wanted to see how far or how much they could televise across the world. I see. That's, so that was the origin of Eurovision. Yeah. And, and because of stuff like that, now we have Simon Cowell. You know, we should be grateful, you know. Where would we be in the world without Simon? Simon Cowell's a weirdo. Yeah, but your wife fancies him. Well, yeah, something you can have him. Nice about him. He is his ways. He's really nice. I don't think so. Okay, you don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, look, Hatchet Harry's indoor axe throwing. Indoor axe throwing. Do you want to go try that for a yeah. laugh? In Hatchet Harry's indoor axe throwing. Eurovision. McDonald's giving away free food. They are. Why? It's the. They don't do anything for nothing. Well, they say they're giving away free food. Where Where's the chicken nuggets? In chicken nuggets. Just samples. Do you think any of the dealers are giving out samples of cocaine? Free McNuggets? You've got a McNugget Airstream? Yeah, We've got three of them. Mate, this is like better, you know, like, you know, like back in the day, like Stranger Danger, like here, I've got some candy for you. Here, i got some McNuggets for you. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> little girl, do you want to come in my car? I got some McNuggets. Yeah. Fucking hell, McDonald's. Gotta go. Right now, we got 
So we got Michael's sister Deborah here now. <laughs> so giving out 12 packs for free all day. I wonder how long. What's the last? Mm. Did you get 12 nuggets all together? It's, you'd think they give you like three or something just yeah, yeah. for the sake of saying yeah. they're doing it. Yeah, why? Why? Yeah. Use straight Blanc. What? In the, in the Eurovision. Yeah. The highest score is Dues Point. 12 points. So that's where they're calling it Dues McNug? Yes. What's this, a whale? A platypus or something? No, it's a bird. A bird? Ukrainian bird. They're all over the country. They're all over Liverpool. Oh, a chicken? No. We're going in here, bro. All right. So you keep walking straight. Yep. On your right, a bit further down, is the Albert Dock, you'll see it. And you have fun with all this... Uh... Oh, you've got the keys, so make, yeah, yeah. You make sure you're around at some time. Okay. okay. So that is the village, £15 to get in, uh, if you don't want to pay the 400 to go into the actual arena. And there's the coppers with the big ones. They're not likely to get much trouble here. I love Scousers, they're always up for a laugh, you know? So I think if we can go see the Yellow Submarine now, I'm on my way to Allen's. It's over here somewhere. So what we got here is Albert Dock. When I first started coming to the city, or maybe about 15 years ago to get the ferry to Ireland, used to, um, it was a bit of a shithole. But it's just like everything now, they've uh, gentrified it and cleaned it up. So what I got here is a real treat, and um, oh, I've always admired them. They're, they're a die-hard little subculture. Got to have money. So these are all called longboats, okay? And, and basically, during the Industrial Revolution, before the railway came in, we had canals all over Britain and Europe. So many people maintain longboats, as you can see here. I think the entry price is about, oh, when I remember, about forty, fifty thousand pounds. You'd have to do some work on it, of course, but you can take a British longboat into a European canal, but you can't take a European one into a British canal because ours are a bit more narrow. Be able to live in them and not, not pay any council rates or tax, um, but the government, well, they can't have that, so they decided to screw them too, uh, unless you keep moving every so many days. Class. So I think this has been here about 15 years or so, uh, the Beatles story. It's basically the Beatles Museum. Probably cost you about oof, 30 pounds I'd say to get in there. Not on my budget. I was a late bloomer, you know, I, I never really got into music till I was oh, 14 I'd say. Uh, 13, 14, the Beatles one album came out where they just put out all their one hits, you know, that red one with the yellow one. And that was the first one, my auntie bought me that. And that led on to The Doors, that led on to Led Zeppelin, The Eagles. Uh, I don't really know where I went from there. It was basically Jim Morrison. By about 15, I had long hair, I was smoking dope. And uh, I didn't really do good in school from that point on. 
Oh, I've always been a sucker for Whitney Houston. <laughs> Hello, you. That's what I love about England, especially up the north. They don't even eat alcohol, just have a laugh. Maggie and Ray, 1999. Nicola and Kathy, December 08. Who's that? Joyce and Sena. Oh, and give them a bell for a good time. So this is the beautiful Merseyside. You'll not see a sunny day like this too many of the year, I should think. Probably less than 50. Um, across the water is one of my favorite followers on YouTube, um, Eamon. Hoped I'd get the chance to meet Eamon while I'm here, but uh, apparently not. No response. I hope he's all right. And then we've got a Frenchman holding a baguette as well. It's a bit of a cultural stereotype. Yes. 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 Wouldn't really be a Brandon video if I passed this up, would it? Nice. Probably fresh today, I suspect. Nice and fresh, I like it like that. Years ago, do you know the people with shovels behind? You know, in the fire. Oh, can you hear? Oh, aye. What's it smell like though? Uh, horse shit smells all right. <laughs> it's pig shit, that's the one that you... <sighs> I don't mind... Sh I've been around a farm or two. Uh, I don't mind the sheep, I don't mind the horse. Where are you from? I'm well, from Canada originally, but I've lived here probably half my life now. Yeah, well, okay. The UK, we're doing this, we're having a bit of banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did the police get reactions? <laughs> no, no, but uh, you just, you can't have any banter. Yeah, yeah. It's got a bit of Irish swang there, no? Well, everybody, everybody in the east coast of Canada is a mick or a mac. Yeah. I mean, from Ireland. Where did they come from? Knock. He's from Knock. Yeah. Now there's a true story about Knock. Uh, there's, a, there's a church there, the and the traveling community holds it to quite an affinity. Um, it's like um, it's like a pilgrimage site. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a uh, true story. Once my auntie seen them all coming out of the transit, the baby, everybody, yeah, yeah. and uh, and uh, the mother, because yeah. they're quite matriarchal, yeah. says no stealing. You're in knock, because God would see you. Yeah, no yeah. choring, they said. Yeah. Um, but you know, I got family in Galway too. Galway's lovely, isn't it? Galway girl, let's be with him. Okay. Ha have a good one, fella. Good luck, look after yourself. Be nice well. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I love about Scousers. See, you think I'm weird on the internet, and I am a bit off, but I'm filming horse shit, and he just has a chat with me about horse shit, just like it's nothing. And uh, that's why the UK has better sense of humor. For me, anyway. My name's John. I'm Paul. I'm George. And I'm Ringo. John's actually not bad. He even puts his Instagram tag. I'll shout him there if you want. Caleb.1. I've done really Yeah. Stephen Hawkins. However difficult life may seem. 
Well, that was my day. And this is my family here in Liverpool. Michael's like my father I wish I had. I really do. Um, I admire him. How uh, He's raised two beautiful daughters, Nadia, Melanie. And he's been a good husband, Tommaso, who's like the matriarch of the family. Yeah, Jewish mothers are pretty heavy shit. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Um, this morning, her and I had a talk. Uh, she fundamentally does not understand what I do. And this fucking pisses me off. A Jew. A Jew that doesn't understand what I am doing. Um, she doesn't know. Because she doesn't want to know. And I told her some pretty heavy stuff in there today. Uh, because I wanted to love her and love me and be proud of me and support me in principle. Told her stuff I don't don't tell you guys on here. Like what happened in Yampel. Um, you know, there's a mini holocaust going on. Um, I've seen it. I've smelt it. Um, but fundamentally, everybody wants someone to do, oh, Ukraine, someone should do something about that. As long as it's not them, or it doesn't affect them emotionally, financially, spiritually, or physically. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not here to ruin anyone's fun. Uh, Eurovision, let's call that out for what it is. One year ago, when Ukraine was given Eurovision, uh, the winning, uh, I was with Persia Tankova after a big battle. It was like May 14th to 20th, sometime around then. Um, our worst day, we had 65 guys, probably 20 dead. Um, I had half a 3G signal. I read. I still had the BBC app on my phone, and I read that, and, and I was a little bit cynical. I was like, oh, well, thank you. You gave us a sound contest. But... Eurovision's in Liverpool this year. It should be in Kiev because they won it. But let's be honest what that is. That's a cash cow. That is a corporate pride flag, Ukraine flag, cash cow. That's all it is. Um, LGBT community, plus plus. Ukraine, plus plus. Profit, I come from a democracy, plus plus. But... You try to steal virtue signal. You try to you try to steal moral authority from us of any sense, and attach it to pride and profit. <laughs> but I'm very grateful to be here with them. Uh, last night we had Shabbos dinner, and that was really really nice. I'm I'm not a Jew, you know, but they they took me in a long time ago, and uh, that that was part of my motivation to come to Ukraine. I thought about what happened to their people and they make me feel like one of their own. And when she says, why would you go back? You know, remember the end of Schindler? He was down on the ground crying to Itzhak, Ben Kingsley. I could have saved more. 